Dr. Kumsin here again. I'm here to give you an update on how academic work is going for the semester. It has been good, quite time. I want you to know that we have next semester coming up from Monday the 26th of February to the 1st of March. And so we want to talk to the lecturers, the, the college examinations officers, and as well the students to let us know how prepared they are for the upcoming next semester examinations. I had I had like examination or practice and all these things now come to play sometimes and in view of that I was asked have you have you, have you heard about the students guide? Someone just mentioned it this morning. I was like it was that like one year in school and I don't even know what the students guide is. You've never read I've it. never I don't even know what it is, so what to you hey. I'm serious. <laughs> it's like have just come just say, oh like I don't know. Have you just my CW I'm chasing. But I didn't even know there was a students guide actually. What about oh. you? I have, well, a little bit. Yeah. Yes. But what did you say, sir? Just a portion about where certain buildings are situated on campus. Um. Where are the buildings? <laughs> about I'll have to take you on a tour. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Yeah, so yeah. That's the only part I read. But I, I learned, I learned it's, it's, it's quite a lot. The rules and well, all those things. Because yes. personally, I don't like reading. That's why I'm the students guy. Well, you right should now. because. As you try and. Yes. Well, it's actually going it. to show you how to conduct yourself on okay. campus. Sure. The students and staff of College of Engineering, K University. I hope everyone is fine. My name is Dr. Frank Ufriadman, the Deputy College Examples Officer for Engineering. Uh, I'm here to inform you about the incoming semester examination. We start on the 26th of February to 1st of March. As you know, we have published the timetable, the final timetable. And I believe that students have gone through the timetable. The challenge that we had in this year's uh, timetable was that when we published the draft, uh, most students and some faculty members did not even check the draft timetable to inform us of issues concerning the timetable. So when we publish the final one, that is where they were bringing all those issues, which makes it very difficult to make any good changes on the timetable. So my advice to students is that when you publish the draft timetable, it is in your interest to look at the draft timetable so that at least you report to us of any issue which can be addressed for your own interest. If you wait till the final is published, we can make adjustment, but it will be at your own disadvantage. So as you know, we've published the final timetable and we are hoping that we prepare enough. You know how college, the College of Engineering arrange our rooms for examinations. We always put at least two or three programs in one. So we are hoping that you prepare enough. You don't come to the examination with the motive of coming to copy someone or the motive that somebody somewhere is going to assist you in your examination. I'm advising you that please, in the examination room, not even an eraser, pen or pencil, is borrowed. So if you have the habit of not bringing what is needed to write examination and that in the examination room, you will have a friend to borrow from. Please, you should desist from it because if you are caught, even asking for eraser, you will be in trouble. So please, for your own interest, as much as possible, get everything needed to write examination to at least help you have a clean and wonderful I won't talk much because I know you can easily get copies of the student guide uh, from the college website to at least read about it so that you'll be informed of what to do and what not to do during examination. You are entreated to be at the exam center, the venue for the exams, at least 30 minutes before the exams. 
if you come early it is your own advantage but if you are late it becomes a disadvantage to you because you will be searched and during this search period it takes some time so if you come early it helps for the process to be smooth but if you are late that is where the problem lies but this time around invigilators are going to total off with such students because We've seen over the years that some students manage to uh, bring in phones, bring in foreign materials where they are not really searched because the invigilators allow them to sit because of the time. By this time, we have advised invigilators that irrespective of the time that the student appeared, they should be set thoroughly. So if you really want to write the exams at that conducive atmosphere, please, as much as possible, be at the exam center at least 30 minutes before the start of the exams. No time will be added on being late. So please, treat exams as important as any other thing in the university. Also, please, once coming, make sure you dress properly for the ladies Make sure this is the uh, writing exams is not fashion where you'll be exposing your body anyhow for people to to lose concentration whilst writing exams or for people to just be looking at you. Make sure you dress properly. University exam is an official gathering. So make sure you dress properly as you are going for any other official gathering. Don't dress anyhow because you'll be sacked. You will not be allowed to enter the exam center if you are dressed anyhow. So those who are fond of wearing slippers, bathroom slippers, and all kinds of dirty things to the examination, please desist from it because you will not be allowed to enter the exam room with such kind of uh, uh, dressing or such kind of behavior. So to our dear invigilators, please ask. The, the, the exams is approaching. I know some of you will be very busy and I know most of you doing exams to give your all. We are relying on you to do a good work for us. So please, let's be vigilant in this exams. And uh, we are hoping that this exam, we wouldn't have much of exam or practice uh, coming up after the exams. We are hoping for a clean and fair examination. I wish you all the best and I pray that this exam, this exams will be a success to everyone, from students to invigilators to attendants to everyone that matters in the college. Thank you very much and all the best. I'm in my second year in KNUST and I'm studying chemical engineering. Midterm is next week and I'm expecting it to be quite difficult but hopefully all goes well. So I'm also in my final year reading metallurgical engineering and I've been writing MSEMs since I came into KUST. And MSEMs are always interesting since it always happened during halfway of the academic um, year. So I expect it to be difficult though but I know that with the um, 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 preparation needed I can just write and write well and just have the good grades. Okay, so we are all anticipating for a very good lesson exams. Uh, what I would like to tell the students is that in this university, all examinations whether mid semester or end of semester examinations are governed by rules that have been laid down by the university. And all students should try to obey these rules. For as long as they obey the rules, they'll be fine. But if you cheat in an exam and you are caught, you can easily get kicked out, depending on the severity of the offense. I hope all students will take this advice in good faith. Thank you very much. Interesting journey. It's been good speaking to our students, our college examinations officer, and as well in the latest. I wish you all the best and then keep watching out for news from the College of Engineering. Let's